Hi, this is J.P. Bailey, author of EFT for Codependency Recovery. Welcome to my recovery tapping videos. We are going to be tapping on, oops, wrong page, the Codependency Laundry List. So let's get started. The Codependency Laundry List. There's 14 of them. They've been around since like the 80s. We're on number one. I became isolated and afraid of other people and authority figures. This one actually is almost like four in one. So we're going to break it down and do our tapping statements. So let's get out our tapping diagrams. And which you can get free from my blog or uh, they're in the book. But... We're just going to follow along. You always set it up on the side of the hand on the karate chop point. You do a round of tapping all the way through the hands. Then we do the gamut spot routine where we do the eye rolls. And then we do another round of tapping. And then we end at the top of the head, just like tapping it off. So we start it up and tap it off. <clears throat> so we can try to put those to the side. And so the main thing is, if you can relate to feeling isolated and afraid, just that in general, and if you say yes, then on a scale of 1 to 10, give it a number right now, how distressful that is, being isolated and afraid. Okay, so the setup statement, we're going to say this nice long setup statement and tell the energy system that this is what we're going to be tapping on. We're going to mainly tap on isolated and afraid, those two keywords to do the actual tapping on. So we're going to set it up on the karate chop, start tapping on the karate chop. Even though I'm not comfortable or involved with other people or authority figures, I love and accept myself and the fact that I have this problem. Keep tapping on the karate chop. Even though I'm not comfortable or involved with other people or authority figures, I love and accept myself and the fact that I have this problem. One more time. Even though I'm not comfortable or involved with other people or authority figures, I love and accept myself and the fact that I have this problem. Okay, good. Now start tapping on the eyebrow point and say isolated and afraid tap 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 on the side of the eye isolated and afraid under the eye isolated and afraid under the nose isolated and afraid on the chin isolated and afraid keep going on the collarbone isolated and afraid under the arm isolated and afraid now straight to the thumb tap 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 three to five Five to seven times on each tapping spot. Isolated and afraid on the first finger. On the side of the finger where the nail meets the skin. Isolated and afraid. Middle finger. Isolated and afraid. Pinky. Isolated and afraid. Now find the gamut spot point in the back of the hand. No more talking or tapping. You're just going to rub that spot and keep your head still, eyes looking straight forward. <clears throat> While you close your eyes just for a second, open them just for a second. Look down hard to the right just for a second. Back up to normal and then look hard down to the left and back to normal. Now look straight up to the ceiling and imagine a giant clock at 12 o'clock and roll your eyes around to the three. Keep going all the way down like you're looking at the floor, but keeping your head still. Down at 6. Roll your eyes over to the 9. Roll your eyes back all the way up to 12 o'clock. And now counterclockwise back around. Nice big round circle. Go back around to 9. <clears throat> down on the ground, 6. Back around to 3. Back all the way up to 12. Then this is where you hum, count, hum. So... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So just sing happy birthday to you or five little bars of any kind of song and then count to five. And 
that's good there. Now let's go back to the eyebrow point and start tapping again and talking again. Isolated and afraid. Side of the eye. Isolated and afraid. Under the eye. Isolated and afraid. Under the nose. Isolated and afraid. Chin. Isolated and afraid. Collarbone. Isolated and afraid. Under the arm. Isolated and afraid. On the thumb, isolated and afraid. First finger, isolated and afraid. Middle finger, isolated and afraid. Pinky, isolated and afraid. And then on the top of the head, just say a couple, isolated and afraid, and then let go. I usually like to shake my hands out a little bit, take a nice deep breath, and just sit and kind of just think for a second. And then go back to that original statement, being isolated and afraid of authority figures and just other people in general. And see what your number is on a scale of 1 to 10 now. It should have gone down a little bit. Just in the, like, how much does this bother you that you have this problem? It may feel, there may feel some relief. So you just put your number, whatever it is. If the number stayed the same or even went higher, that's okay too. You just That just means you need to keep tapping more. It's kind of rare, but usually should go down a little bit, and then you need another couple of rounds. Now, anything that came up is where you'd write down, you know, aspects that came up while I was tapping. So while you were doing all that tapping, if you had other thoughts or memories or whatever pop up, jot them down, do a whole other tapping round on them later, or do shortcut rounds on them after you've done a long one like this. So keep moving forward. You got your your number, your before and after number. So take a deep breath, drink some water, and when you're ready, we're going to do another round, this time just on the becoming isolated. So there's fear behind the, this whole laundry list trait. There's other people and authority figures. Authority figure is like a category within it's a special category. It can be parents and teachers, other people's parents. It can be bosses and judges and cops. But we're just going to stick with just being isolated from people in general. So we're going to go back to the karate chop and we're going to set it up this way. Even though I'm not comfortable or involved with other people and authority figures, I love and accept myself and the fact that I have this problem for a long time. Even though I'm not comfortable or involved with other people and authority figures, I love and accept myself and the fact that I've had this problem for a long time. And now back to the eyebrow point. Just say, I became isolated <clears throat> on the side of the eye. I'm uncomfortable and afraid people under the eye. I became isolated under the nose uncomfortable and afraid on the chin I became isolated on the collarbone uncomfortable and afraid under the arm I became isolated and then top of the head uncomfortable and afraid and let go so that's just doing a shortcut round on the second time of going around any aspects that come up jot them down now and now tune back into becoming isolated from other people. And on a scale of 1 to 10, at least write down how much it bothers you. You may still do it, and you see you do it, but how much does it bother you emotionally? And write that number down. Okay, and if you want to get these numbers down even more, then do some more shortcut rounds about all of these aspects and anything that came up. But it's still okay to move on to the new choices, the new recovery beliefs. So at least we've got some energy moving and out of the way around the whole idea of isolated, uncomfortable people and authority figures. So now on the karate chop, on the karate chop, just repeat after me, I feel comfortable being involved with other people and authority figures. I now choose to feel comfortable being involved with other people and authority figures. And on the eyebrow, comfortable and involved. Side of the eye, comfortable and involved. 
under the eyes. I'm comfortable and involved. Under the nose. I'm comfortable and involved. On the chin. I'm comfortable and involved. On the collarbone point. I'm comfortable and involved. And under the arm. I'm comfortable and involved. On top of the head. I'm comfortable and involved. Take a deep breath, shake your hands out, and go back to thinking, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the absolute best, and you believe it 100%. How much do you believe that you are or can be or can feel comfortable and involved with other people and even authority figures? And that's the number that you want to increase after you keep decreasing the stress and the fear, whatever issues, memories, etc., and continue to tap in the new choice of how you want to be moving forward. And it can be whatever, that you're confident or comfortable or involved or semi-involved or whatever. It's your choice. You just want to feel it with some positiveness attached to it, right? So that's that. All righty. We're going to do um, the next one in the next video, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you for listening. Please, you know, give me a like or a share or make a comment or question. Um, and check out my book or let other, other people know about it. I really just want to get the word out that recovery tapping really does help. So thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye now. Stay tuned for more EFT for codependency recovery tapping on the laundry list with J.P. Bailey.